Hello YouTube, I'm Big Al1982. This is the Movie Reviewers 100, the collaboration channel here on YouTube that brings you themes each week. This week's theme is Philip K. Dick Week, and I must admit, when I first saw uh, this name on the list uh, we have on our group um, on Facebook, um, I was a bit not sure who the person was, to be honest. Uh, so I've done a little bit of research and uh, found out that he was a writer. Uh, he was born in 1928 and sadly passed away in of March of 1982 at the age of 53 I believe due to a heart failure. Um, but he was a novelist and uh, to what I, I have read uh, and seen uh, through the films that have been made from his stories he was a sci-fi um, enthusiastic uh, writer uh, and his stories went on to be uh, a lot of great films um, like Blade Runner, uh, Minority Report, Total Recall and a film I'm going to review today uh, a film that was released in 2011 uh, starring Matt Damon and Emily Brunt as, uh, and a few others as well and that is The Adjustment Bureau uh, The Adjustment Bureau uh, was from a story from Phil K. Dick uh, the short story was called Adjusting Team. Uh, the Adjustment Bureau uh, is sort of a sci-fi uh, romantic film, as the way I see it, with a bit of, of a thriller in there as well. Uh, it centers around the main character of Matt Damon, who's running for Senate, who's a politician, and in his path in life, uh, he meets uh, Emily Blunt's character, who's a love interest. But a, bru uh, a group of people called the Adjustment Bureau see otherwise and believe that they're not meant to be together. And the Adjustment Bureau, you find out, are a team of uh, people who uh, decide our paths we go on. Um, we haven't got free will. Uh, they basically decide what people do and give them the illusion that they have free will. Although I've, at times I found this film a bit slow, um, it didn't stop me from enjoying the story. And I thought that the chemistry between uh, Matt Damon and Ellen, Emily Brunt was quite believable that they would uh, be romantically uh, linked with each other. I really did like the sci-fi element of the film and the fact with the Adjustment Bureau. It reminded me a lot of uh, from the TV series uh, Fringe as well with the Observers. Um, they saw the similarity them characters. Um, and basically they were sort of took a back seat and watched people what they were doing going on and um, with the adjustment bureau they made the paths what they wanted people to take and they believed that they uh, had control of um, people in the past and then let, them, uh, let the people have their own free choice and they were basically going to destroy the earth, the human beings so that's when they come back into it and decided to put people on the right paths uh, of their lives in the Adjustment Bureau, uh, played by Anthony uh, Mackie, who played uh, Papa Dot in um, 8 Mile, uh, who always reminds me of that character, who plays Harry Mitchell's uh, Adjustment Bureau um, member, and he believes that um, that Matt Damon's character of David and uh, Emily Blunt's character of Else, uh, Ellis uh, should be together, and he helps uh, Matt Damon um, to sort of re- uh, Kindled the relationship with Emily Brunt over a few years. This film sort of spans over a few years as well. Also in this film, you have Terence Stamp, who plays um, Thompson, uh, who's sort of a uh, lead um, lead character of uh, the Adjustment Bureau, and he sort of comes in to um, address, address the matter with uh, Matt Damon's character. And I, I liked his character in the film. I thought he was uh, quite a good character. I think. Terence Stamp always does give a great performance in all the films he's been in. Another thing I really do like about this film is the fact it's set in New York. One of my favourite cities, um, I've only visited once but as soon as I went to New York I fell in love with it and uh, any film with New York in I really do enjoy it. And uh, the fact that the sci-fi element in this film where they open doors and travel into different places in the city, uh, for me I just really did enjoy seeing all these different places and um, going into buildings that I ne never s missed, I missed when I went into the uh, went and visited myself. Uh, but overall, um, at times it, the story I say was uh, a little bit slow, 
but overall I really did enjoy the sci-fi element I like the romantic um, chemistry between Emily Blunt and Matt Damon um, I thought overall it was an enjoyable film not necessarily for everyone but for overall I did enjoy this film and I would recommend The Adjustment Bureau thanks for watching this little review this week I'm looking forward to everyone else's reviews this week and uh, finding more out about Philip K. Dick I'm sure um, um, Scott sorry <laughs> I'm sure Scott being from Chicago his hometown uh, will know a lot more about the uh, the guy than I do and I look forward to uh, Scott's video this week thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great weekend I've been Big Al 982 and goodbye